So it was an unregistered vehicle? Yes, ma'am. And had no license That's plate? That's incorrect. Shh, shh. A repeat parking offender is caught again. Your car was towed by Mr. O'Grady a third time. Correct. So she brought a friend to fight back. She instructed her companion to blockade my tow yard. And what was the plaintiff doing? Um, she was screaming and yelling at my dispatcher about us wrongfully towing her car. Judge Judy. Ms. Brady, according to your complaint, you have been living in the same mobile home park for 24 years. Is correct. that correct? Correct. The defendant has a towing company. One of his clients is the mobile home lot, and he has a contract with them to tow cars that are in violation of certain rules of the park or governmental rules. So far, correct? Yes, ma'am. How long have you had that contract? Uh, approximately two years, Your Honor. Okay. And Mr. O'Grady towed a car of yours. Yes, ma'am. Twice so far. And you went to a mediation with him with regard to those two towings, and the matter was unable to be resolved at mediation. So your case went to small claims court. Correct. Because you had to go and get your car out each time it was towed. Correct. And on the day that those two cases were set to be heard in small claims court, Mr. O'Grady did not appear. So a default judgment was entered against him. So far, correct? Yes, Your Honor. And then your attorney moved to open that default judgment, giving whatever reason it was to the court, and that's where we are now with regard to those two toes. Those two toes have not yet been decided yet in the appellate process. Is that right? The appeals process. You're appealing, and that hasn't been decided yet. Yes, ma'am. Has not been decided. It has not yet. been decided. Correct? Correct. After that mediation, your car was towed by Mr. O'Grady a third time. Correct. Which is why we're here, because you went and got the car, and it cost you $427 both to get the car and for alleged property damage that Mr. O'Grady's company no. did when he was towing the car. Correct. Mr. O'Grady has a counterclaim, and his counterclaim is that you came down to his place of business with a friend and protested him towing your car by having your friend Chain himself, was it a man? It was a neighbor. A neighbor. Chain himself to a fence which precluded Mr. O'Grady from conducting business that day because his trucks couldn't get in and out. So that's the nature of your counterclaim. Yes, ma'am. All right? Yes, ma'am. I'd like you to tell me on what date for the third time your car was towed. 324 at 1236 p.m. Now, Mr. O'Grady, you're going to tell me why you towed the car. Her car was still in violation of the community parking rules. Do you have those rules? I do, yes, Your Honor. Don't give me the... Listen, I'm 74 years old. Take out the one rule that her car was in violation of. Yes, ma'am. I have them here for you. Highlighted, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Take a look. Highlighted it's on the second is a page. Thing. It's the second... Page, Your right. Honor. I believe either the second or third page. It tells the responsibilities of the residents. No, no, no. I just want you to tell me. There's a whole bunch of things. I want you to tell me why you towed her car. It did not have a valid registration or license plate on the vehicle, ma'am. Okay, so it was an unregistered vehicle? Yes, ma'am. And had no license That's plate? That's incorrect. Shh, shh. And was that the same reason the car had been towed before? Yes, ma'am, the same reason. Okay. I'd like you to tell me the dates of the other toes. I have the receipts for those here, Your Honor. Just tell me what the dates were. The date was um, October 6, 2016, December 21st of 2016. And March 24th of 2017. Yes, ma'am. Was it the same car each time? Yes, ma'am. What kind of car was it, sir? An SUV. It was a Nissan Rogue, white in color. Do you have a VIN number, or was there any identification number on it? The license plate had expired and was no longer valid, but I do have the license plate number that at one point was valid and then became expired. It was valid prior to October 6th of 2016? Uh, at some point prior, it was a valid tag, and it was not renewed. Okay. But you have no VIN number on the car? Uh, no, Your Honor, I, uh, I do not have a VIN number.